Good morning, Facebook Live with Therese here today. And um, I am in the bathroom with the bathtub. And today we're gonna to talk about safety in the bath, using essential oils in the bath safely. I've, I've, been, I've had a few um, requests over the last little while helping out with uh, oils in the bathtub. And so I thought I would just share it with, with you, with everybody, what I've been sharing with other people. Um, to be able to use the, the essential oil safely in the bath because it's a uh, it can be a little bit irritating and um, it can cause uh, a bit of um, issues on our skin when you're using straight essential oils so uh, some really important things to remember is that um, straight essential oils and water don't mix it's oil and water so we need some kind of carrier some kind of um, blending um, agent to mix those essential oils in with the tub so that you're not stepping in and having essential oils, a layer of essential oils on the top of your tub and then all those essential oils tend to just gravitate right towards your skin and stick to your skin and can cause irritation. So uh, we need to dilute them or um, we need to bind them to something else first and so there's lots of different options to do that. Um, uh, I like to use uh, salt, so I use Epsom salts in my tub, and um, we like to put in lots of, of, of salt, so we usually do one cup in uh, while the bath is filling just of straight uh, salts, and then I'll take another quarter of a cup like this and then mix my oils into it and make sure it blends really well. Sometimes I'll put some baking soda in there too, just to help really give those oils something to bind to. And that usually is pretty good. Um, I don't, uh, that's, that's kind of just how I do it, is add the oils right to this and then put them in. Uh, but not every oil is good. You don't want to just go through your cupboard and grab absolutely anything because you're putting this, it's this exposure on your entire skin. So uh, some people find that the really spicy oils like mint and ginger and black pepper can be really irritating to the skin. So try it out. I know there's a lot of recipes out there that call for peppermint in, the, in their bath salts. And uh, I can't personally do it. I get a lot of irritation on my legs and it really, it just, it burns. And I don't find it very pleasant when I'm trying to have a relaxing bath. So I don't tend to use those, uh, those hot and spicy oils, but if you've got, if you've tried it and it works, then, then go for it. But do make sure that you're binding it to something uh, so that you don't have that layer of oil right sitting on top of, of your tub. Uh, uh, also, fill your tub first before you add your essential oil. So if you um, if you're filling your tub and then you throw in your essential oils with the tub running and it would seem like it would disperse really well and it would be a really good idea but that whole motion and all that water moving uh, tends to evaporate the essential oils a bit quicker and so you're going to lose the benefits of getting into that nice relaxing bath. So uh, I put my oils in as I'm getting in, so that they're kind of getting in and I'm getting in, or I get in, get comfortable, and then I put my oils in, uh, I dump them in with, with, the, with the salts, either way, because uh, I want to have that full burst of, of fresh um, fragrance right away and then have that lingering throughout the rest of my bath. Uh, so wait, don't put them in uh, and walk away while the bath is running. Put them in when you're getting in. Uh, some other carrier carrier things that you can use. So in addition to the salts, you can also use a carrier oil like jojoba oil or uh, coconut oil, either in the liquid or in the solid. Either way, doesn't matter. Or castile soap um, is also great. Or even um, uh, your 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 DIY shower gel. So I have that bottle behind me there. That's my DIY shower gel. So you can take a tablespoon of any of those. So either any of the carrier oils, shower gel, castile soap, take a tablespoon of that and mix five drops of your essential oil into that and then and to put that into the tub um, as well. And um, maybe you want to activate that a little bit. If you're using a soap, you want a little bit of bubble, then put it in at the end just as you're getting about to get in. Um, so that you're going to be safe and uh, your your body's not going to be burning and telling you off. 
Uh, so I'm going to try that the next time. I've, I've just always used the salts, but I, I think that's a good idea. One tablespoon of your Castile soap and then um, add your essential oils to that. So some recipes call for five drops, some call up to 10 drops. I usually do up to 10 drops, but feel it out for you as to what works for you. And um, we tend to personally not like to use oils, uh, carrier oils as the blending agent because it leaves a film on the tub and it makes it really slippery. And um, so if you are, if you don't mind that, and if you like that silky feeling in your tub, then just be careful when you're getting out because it will be slippery. There might be a bit of residue on the side of the tub, which is easy to clean off with a bit of baking soda or your thieves cleaner. Um, it, yeah, it's easy to get off, but just be really careful. So some great oils for putting into the tub are things like lemongrass, marjoram, lavender, everybody's using lavender, Roman chamomile, and frankincense. Those are some of our really popular ones. Um, I also like black spruce, uh, just a drop or two, not too, too much. Uh, when you're using, uh, um, and ylang ylang, I really like that too. If you're using ylang ylang or rose or geranium, some of those really stronger smelling oils, just do one or two drops because they can get overwhelming once they're in the tub and they get, uh, they seem to magnify. So um, cut them a bit with um, like a lavender uh, and, and don't do too many drops of those strong smelling fragrances. So um, I have some really nice bath recipes too. I've got um, two recipes I want to share with you. One is the muscle smooth, soothing, muscle smoothing, muscle soothing bath. And that has five drops of marjoram four drops of lemongrass, and three drops of lavender. So uh, we were talking a little bit ago, people were sharing what they, um, what oils that they are not using that are in their cupboard, and marjoram came up as one of those ones that um, a lot of people are having trouble finding, figuring out what to do with it. And it's awesome for sore muscles. Really, really good, really good. And it's 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 pretty good to put in your, in your bath too. So though that combination of lemongrass, marjoram, and lavender are all, are all NHP approved for muscle soreness and aches and pains and strains. So those are a great combo to put into your bath. And what about a relaxing bath? Everybody wants a relaxing bath. So this is a really nice combination too. So five drops of lavender, four drops of chamomile, and three drops of frankincense. Now the chamomile is quite a dark color. It's really, really, really dark blue. So it might give you a bit of a tinge of blue into your water, but that will disperse and it won't last. Um, and it probably won't even leave a ring. Just three, three or four drops of that. It's not gonna um, make a big difference in the color, unless you really like a blue bath and add a little bit more. Uh, so that's a really nice relaxing bath too. Um, so you can play around with your oils uh, and, um, and see what works for you. Start out slow, don't do too many at once and make sure you're adding those carrier oils, dilute them, don't step into a bath that has a layer of oil on the top because that's gonna stick right to your skin and you're gonna be calling me and saying, ah, I'm irritated. So um, do really make sure that that's dispersed well into the water. And um, enjoy adding baths, adding oils to your bath is such an awesome, so fun, so, so fun. And just adds that little extra dimension to your bath. Of course, bath bombs are awesome, fizzy balls, anything like that. I like to do that too, just to kind of mix it up a bit. So that's what I have for you today. And um, be safe with your oils, enjoy them. Watch the sun is coming out now, so photosensitivity is going to be an issue. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but uh, if you have any questions, just Google photosensitivity and essential oils, and um, be safe with your oils and have fun. All right, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.